We couldn't present a schematic design without a rendering. So let's do a quick render here. I'm going to press the F3 to go to the 3D. You can choose a position here that you want. I don't really want to be seeing those grids, so I'm going to right click on them, layer, hide layer, that's fine. And I do recommend you to save this 3D view. So I'm going to have the project map here on the left and the view map on the side. And inside schematic design, I'm going to create another subfolder called renders. And then I'm going to drag this generic perspective inside that folder. So we save a view that we can go back to. And to do a render in ArchiCAD, all you have to do is go to document, creative imaging, photo render projection. So if I click here, ArchiCAD is going to automatically start rendering your image. But before we do this render, I'm going to cancel this here, pressing the red cross here in the bottom. So I'm not going to let it finish. And I'm going to close. ArchiCAD is asking me if I want to save this image. I'm going to say, don't save. And let's change some of the settings for the render. So I'm going to go here to document, creative imaging, and let's go to photo rendering settings. So when we're talking about rendering, there's a lot of settings that we can do, not just for the image, but also for the materials. But that's not the purpose of this course. Here we're going to take a look how we can get renders out without you having to be a master in rendering. So here on the photo rendering settings, we can click here on this black image and ArchiCAD is going to generate a preview of the settings that we have below. And here you can choose from some of the automatic settings that ArchiCAD already gave us. So I'm going to select the outdoor daylight fast. So I'm going to press on the image again so it refreshes. As you can see, it is quite good already. You may be able to get away with this. You might prefer to put some trees on the back so make it look better. And if you have some Photoshop skills, you can make this look really amazing. Other things you can change is the quality of the materials. So right now I'm on a custom. I can change it to high. So I can change the quality of the objects to high or final. I recommend you to do a low one first until you get everything right. You can change some settings for the lights. I'm not going to change any of that. And one important thing here is that you can use a white model effect. So if I tickle that box and press here on the image to refresh, you will notice that ArchiCAD will generate a white model. So this is much faster for ArchiCAD to render. So like this, you can test all the lighting, the sky, and when everything is finished, you go ahead and uncheck this box. You can also change the environment. So you can choose the kind of skies you want. We can change the preset image here for the one that you prefer. So let's change to this option here. And you could also change the date and time. So right now we're going to be at 8 a.m. So let's press refresh. This is looking much better already. You can do some night views as well. And on the object library, you are going to find some lights that you can place on the model that looks really good too. And let's say we're happy with this. I'm going to render a low image here so it doesn't take too long for me. But you can do a, a higher resolution one. So I'm going to go ahead and press render. So now I can close these settings here so we see the render in progress. And ArchiCAD is using the same engine as the Cinema 4D. So it's a really good, really professional rendering engine that you can have very professional renders. If you like render, you can go into a lot of details into it. So there we go, it's finished. You can now go to File, Save As, and then save this image as a TIFF a JPEG or a PDF if you prefer. So I'm going to save it here to my desktop and I'm going to name it Perspective 1 and then save it. Now you can print and use in your presentations.